starting grid, Mike Marler. He won on Thursday night in the shootout on the pole in the B main tonight. Tyler Carpenter alongside of him. And then the three time and defending series champion, Jonathan Davenport, not yet in the show. One of the fan favorites, Josh Rice on the outside of the second row. He was a thrill in the second round of heat races. Scott Bloomquist, two time North South 100 winner, the all time winningest driver in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Trying to make it yet into another North South 100. Zach Dome, a great run here a year ago, a top five. One is he raced this afternoon. He's got to come from six there tonight in B main number one. This lineup in the first B main spectacular. Devin Moran, top 10 in the point standings and a winner in the Lucas R Elite Model Dirt Series this year, will line up seventh on the outside, the 17 year old out of Texas, Colton Horner in the 56. The next row, row number five, will be Todd Brennan trying to make his first north-south 100. He's out of Zanesville, Ohio. Another north-south 100 possibility, Joey Moriarty, the Arizona native now living in North Carolina. Jason Miller, the winner at Fayetteville Motor Speedway recently in 11th. And Skyler Lewis was on the pole for a heat race, had some difficulty early in the second round of the heat races. Row seven, a pair of former Florence Speedway track champions. That'll be the big show, Robbie Hensley. And outside, the defending Florence Speedway track champion, Son of six-time Florence track champion Steve Landrum, it's Trevor Landrum. Kirk Phillips on the inside of row number eight. And then how about this? 13-year-old Tristan Chamberlain. An incredible night for Tristan Chamberlain here just to be in a B-man. Devin Gilpin had some motor problems last night. He just scratched Tanner English, the top rookie in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series, not yet in. And David Webb, the Nicholasville, Kentucky veteran, he too, like Gilpin, is scratched for the night. So 15 laps for each of the B mains tonight. And James, only three drivers to transfer out of each of these races. Right now in the provisional list, it's Davenport, McCready, Moran, English, and Stormy Scott. Top five with perfect attendance, not yet in. So that means nine of them have made the race already. Don't have to worry about a B main or provisional. Davenport again is in this race. So is Moran and English. And then McCready and Stormy Scott will be in the second B main. Just want to remind everybody right now that is watching at home or in your garage or wherever you may be on LOR TV, there is a storm that is blowing on out of here. But right now, because it is still close enough to the facility, we have our cameras down. We will put them back up when we can by virtue of the regulations that are set forth before us. But we'll keep these static shots up for you that, so that you can see some of what's going on. And James and I will call all the racing action for 15 laps here in B-Main number one. It's just like we're on radio. Exactly. Right there again. <laughs> Well, Mike Marler, the one that thrilling race here on Thursday night on the final lap, passing Brandon Overton to become the 16th different driver to win a Lucas Oil race this year. Tyler Carpenter trying to make it at his first north-south 100. Davenport, Rice, Rice has made two of them, but that thrilling run from, run from eighth to first in that fifth and final eight. Zach Dome, we know we can do here. Scott Bloomquist, two wins. He has not won the north-south since 2000. He's finished second seven times, third four times. 23 yep. career starts in the North-South 100 for the three-time series champion, Scott Bloomquist. And he's had the heartbreak, what, the last five or six years of uh, Tim McCready, Bobby Pierce have passed him near the end of the race. Gonna add a couple of more wins. Saw These him. are like two features. It is. These two P mains, unbelievable. Anywhere else in America, this would be a feature event. And that's what's special about coming to the North South 100. Yes, a lot of pomp and circumstance, so much history here, big money on the line. But this race means so much to the fans, to all of us in the industry and the racers themselves. They know what it's like and what this North-South 100 is all about. I'm ready, let's do it. Looking forward to a little <laughs> fist bump up here. <laughs> for James and I in the booth, uh, thank you so much for joining us here at Florence Speedway today and also live on Lucas Oil Racing TV. Here we go, B main time for the Lucas Oil Elite Model Dirt Series, North-South 100 style at Florence. Mike Marler's going to grab the lead into turn one. Bob Tyler Carpenter on the outside. And here comes that black number 11. <laughs> Betty White on the move. 
Josh Rice already digging hard, goes to the inside. Haven't seen that all too much here. Cannot get alongside of the 28 of Tyler Carpenter. Trouble for Scott Bloomquist on the front stretch. The zero slows. Scott Bloomquist coming to a stop and that will bring out the caution. Wow. It has been that kind of year. He has not had a win in 2020, nor has he led a feature lap anywhere this year. One of his favorite tracks right here at Florence Speedway. And he is down already one lap in the books and we'll see what happened, Bob. He just slowed coming off of turn number four. Luckily, nobody else got involved in that, but Scott Bloomquist, that zero not under fire here. First caution of this B main comes out for Bloomquist. We did get one lap recorded. Mike Marler over Tyler Carpenter, Josh Rice, Jonathan Davenport, and Zach Dome, your top five. It's Colton Horner, Joey Moriarty, Devin Moran, Todd Brennan. And if Davenport does not make it out of this race, he would be a professional. Moran is third in line. Moran, a good run here last year, five, top five in the North South 100. So did Zach Dome. Delaware double file restart. Marler in a row by himself, two by two by two on back behind that. Oh, listen to that power fire off of turn number four. Carpenter picked the bottom. Josh Rice will go to second in car 11. Out of turn two down the back straight away. Carpenter in third, Davenport, Zach Dome. But it's all Mikey Marler, Friday night's winner. Uh, the uh, Thursday night's winner of the North South shootout leads with two in the books out of 15. The car known as Betty White goes for the lead. Almost contact there with Mike Marler. He fades back to second right now. Here comes the slider once again for the 11 of Josh Rice. He goes up in front of the nose of Mike Marler. Marler battles back to the inside. My goodness sakes. Well, he said there are two features coming up and we got three of them. Actually, there comes Rice will go back on the bottom of the crossover move on Marler. Go side by side, Josh will throw it in there. Move over, B. Arthur, here comes Betty White. Does he get the bite? Still toe to toe between the 157 and the 11. Josh Rice might have the run off a of two. He might have it here. Josh Rice officially to the lead here in B main number one. Here comes Tyler Carpenter, here comes Jonathan Davenport, Bob. In the top three advance, the rest are done for the night and the caution is out. Lewis slows into turn number uh, one. Skyler Lewis in that 22 slows on the bottom side of the racetrack. Four laps in the books out of 15. Well, Bobby picks right up where he left off at and will come around four in the books. Florence Speedway, your brand new leader is Josh Rice. And listen to the crowd go crazy, standing up in front of us here in the tower. This kid is nothing short of spectacular at Florence Speedway. Marler second, Bob, then it's Carpenter, Davenport, Colton Horner up to fifth, Zach Dome back to sixth. Then Moran, Moriarty, Hensley, and Landrum. Again, the top three advance. The rest are done for the night unless they have a series provisional and they would have to be in the non-qualifiers race and that's the last event of the night. Chris Ferguson out of North Carolina will be on the pole for the North South 100 here tonight. After that heat race win, he went over and bought a Josh Rice t-shirt. <laughs> because that's awesome. He was a big fan after that heat race and when he just put on a show. Outstanding. That's what it's all about. Love and when the locals, they can come in here and battle the best of the best. Eight of the top 10 drivers in America are here this weekend. And the 22 year old out of Verona, Kentucky, son of former track champion Jerry Rice, putting on a show so far in these first four laps. Here we go, coming to the green. Four laps into this one. Josh Rice is your leader. 157 of Marler, Davenport fading. Here comes Moran, Davenport trying to get to the inside of Colton Horner, battle for fourth. He's on the inside, Horner not wanting to give it up. Not wanting to give no. it up at all. They make contact off of turn number four. Horner all over the place. Wow, and Devin Moran got around both of them. Hard contact there. They could not get away from each other. Davenport and Colton Horner, but now Davenport, what does he think? He's back now in position. 
Does he want to just pull off and take provisional, save the car? We'll see what happens six down. It's Josh Rice, Mike Marler, Tyler Carpenter, the top three, Bob. Right now, I think Davenport wants to find out what he needs to do to that race car to make it better, because remember, it's a long race, 100 laps. Josh Rice comes underneath the stripe halfway through this one in B main number one. Marler runs second, Tyler Carpenter in that final transfer spot, Devin Moran on the outside looking in and forth, and then there's the 49, the Nutrienac Solutions car for Jonathan Davenport. Robbie Hensley's been moving up in there, former track champion here in March, started in 13. He's up to six, but eight down, seven to go. He's got to pick it up a little bit. Rice leads by 1.2 seconds over Mike Marler. Zach Dome has been so strong around this part of the country, but right now he rides back in six. That's not going to get him in the show here tonight. About a five car length lead from the 11 of Josh Rice to second place running Mike Marler, who won on Thursday night in the North South Shootout. Well, the battle right here about to take place. That is for third and fourth, that final spot. Carpenter and Moran, Devin trying to catch him. Devin right now third on the provisional list. Meanwhile, Mike Marler is running down Josh Rice. Seven one thousandths of a second of the caution is back out, Bob. Phillips, who has been smoking throughout this entire week, uh, maybe something finally gone wrong with that 21. He slows in turns one and two, goes to the bottom side of the racetrack. He was trapped up top and thus the reason for the caution. 10 down, five to go. It's Josh Rice, Mike Marler, Tyler Carpenter, Devin Moran, Jonathan Davenport, Zach Dome, Robbie Hensley, Colton Horner, Joey Moriarty. Phillips was 10th. Skyler Lewis out, Bloomquist is out, Gilpin and Webb did not start. Now Jason Miller to the hot pit of the Virginia driver. Josh Rice, I believe he's been in what, two? Yep, two previous, and he had DNFs, I believe, in both of them. Tyler Carpenter's never made this race. Mike Marler has yep. been in nine north-south 100s. So a disparity of experience within the top three here in regards to the north-south 100. Josh Rice, though, plenty of experience at this racetrack. Five wins in 2019. So close to the big win in July here when the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series came to town. The closest finish in series history. James and I couldn't tell who was ahead at the start finish line. The difference, Earl Pearson Jr. won over Josh Rice by two one thousandths of a second. And he was leading in Brownstown last week. Couple laps to go in that. Had the lead, Tanner English got by him for the Hall of Fame Classic there. Of course, we'll be at Brownstown next month, Bob. He led the, the season Jackson opener winner. here. Yes, he did. And, and then late in the race had trouble there too. Ran over a piece of debris, had a flat tire. Jason Jamison won that. But trying to get that Rick Jones and Isis construction rocket in the show. Mike Marler's gonna pick the top on Carpenter. So all the drivers running uh, the even number two, four, six, eight, ten. will be on the outside, all the odd numbers on the inside, three, five, seven, nine. That is odd, right? That's very observant. That's, you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that, but all I know one thing is that number 11. I'm telling you, he gets into this race, and if there's a cushion, he can start anywhere. Yeah. And if he wins this race, he will start 17th in the North-South 100. And in 100 laps, you can certainly do that uh, yes, as long as he saves his tires enough for the end of the race. Josh Rice will be spectacular here tonight. Tyler Carpenter, another one of those hard chargers at, as well out of West Virginia. The 28 on the inside of Mike Marler, who's one of the smoothest drivers in America. Well, we've got cloud cover over the track now, so maybe some moisture will be coming up here in a little bit. It's been, I tell you, for daytime racing this afternoon, very good for both the uh, late models and the modifieds. But five to go, Bob. Top three go to the North South 100. Coming back to the green, a little bump and grind off of turn number four. Carpenter makes contact with Mike Marler. Marler back to third and under fire for that position. He gets that run on the inside, back to the inside of Tyler Carpenter for second. Mike Marler back to second. Will he keep the spot? Looks like he should coming off a of turn number four. He does. Here comes 
Moran. Dome had a good restart. Now Devin Moran and hunted for it. Third in provisionalist. Moran trying to make it in on his own. And it's Davenport and Zach Dome coming up on three to go. It's Rice, Marler, Carpenter here in the first of two B mains. Brand new cars for the nine of Devin Moran and the 49 of Jonathan Davenport. But right now, They've had some tough luck here this week at Florence Speedway. Moran has been involved in a couple of incidents. That car has been banged up, battered, and bruised. And Jonathan Davenport, I asked him, what's going on? He said, just don't have the speed, don't have the feel in that 49. Yeah, these cars are so even anymore. Everybody's got good equipment, as we always say. And you're off by a tenth or two, it's going to cost you. But right now, Josh Rice, he's almost a second ahead of the rest of the field one to go by. There is the 157 of Mike Marler and the 28 of Tyler Carpenter. Final lap, you see the gap between first and second. Josh Rice up against the outside and takes the victory in B main number one. He, Mike Marler, and Tyler Carpenter in the show. Carpenter will start the Sunoco Race Fuels North South 100 for the first time in his career. There you go, he ended the day great. Eighth to first in the C race, fourth to first in the B main, he's in the show. Devin Moran and Jonathan Davenport. Um, Davenport definitely a provisional here tonight. Uh, Devin Moran will have to take a look at who is in the second B main. Definitely a potential for a provisional as well. Zach Dome, even though he's so good here at Florence, he has run into trouble in the heat races, and that set him up, unfortunately, not in a good position for the first B main tonight. So those cars that didn't make it through, and we take out the provisionals, will be in the uh, non-qualifiers race here later on tonight, 2,000 to win.